in the world at Rackelon with, with the world title from last year. I last mean, last two years. Last two years, of course, indeed, yes. So this is going to be a really, really tasty, tasty affair. And I think they're actually about to get underway. So a big crowd uh, building up. Certainly here as well. a big crowd. I think we may have to leave the squash for now, as we that match has concluded, really, hasn't it, Creston? I mean, even if Anna Clara was to come back yeah, and win the yeah, squash, yeah. it's we will uh, we'll uh, we'll switch in between the the tennis and the, the tennis, tennis and the table tennis. I mean, I mean that is that scorecard itself is a is a picture of of pure excitement for a Rackelon is, fan isn't it this is the one everyone came to see this is what we wanted we wanted the world champion versus the greatest player of all time and it and it has begun Ratza versus Jesper Ratza versus Luke Griffiths and you can see how much this means to Luke already with a big big cheer a big come on in the first Luke knows the, first the table point. tennis is very important it's oh, yeah. so key in this it, match I think it? if Luke can win the table cannot win the table tennis I really struggle no. to see him it's very tricky win. Uh, because cause he, he's probably not going to win well, he's, he's, he's not going to win the middle two sports is he it's really unlikely Jesper so. knows it too yeah Yes, for Nosa too. A big cheer for for his first point. Indeed. Do you think there's um we've got two very very strong characters? In, in, in do you think there's a bit of a mental game with the cheering? But not. No, I think neither of them are trying to better the other one. But do you think they they want to psych themselves up more yeah. than the other players psyching yeah, themselves yeah. up? I think. Yeah. I think uh, one thing that 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 Ratza was always good at were is mentally uh, mm. play big points uh, and, and play them well. At the right time, um, and I think that's one thing I'm I'm also really impressed with 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 Luke and and where I think that the reason why he won the last two world titles beating his brother is because mm, mentally, mentally he, definitely he, yeah. he's slightly better. Um, he, he he's got arguably the for his age the arguably the best mental strength on the uh, tour I think. I mean I, I I played the world final in, in doubles against him just uh, a month and a half ago and and and. He he was obviously with his brother, and and he was the one that made the adjustments that mm. that kind of changed a few, you know, the, 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 how the how the the game was was developing. Yeah. Um, both in the tennis, in the table tennis, he, he did. I remember very clearly. He, he did one one thing that 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 the brothers hadn't done for the entire uh, duration of the table tennis game, yeah. and 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 got me on that because okay, it was surprising. So yeah. he's thinking more. How can I change the the outcome of, of, yeah. of like right now? Okay, it's, it's not going as well. What can I do to change things? And I think he he's better at that than 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 his brother is. Yeah. Apologize, yeah. Uh, Leon, if you're if you're listening in, but <laughs> but, but um, I think your little brother has a little bit uh, a mental uh, edge. Uh, it's it's on yeah. you there. Um, oh, I thought, I thought Luke had got that back on the table, but it was just the the slap of the ball on Jesper's leg, I think. But uh, but yeah, four all here. I mean, yeah. You think so? You think on paper it can go either way. I have uh, Jesper as quite a big favourite for the for the match. Uh, so sorry for the table tennis. Uh, can go can go either way, but I also have have Jesper as as the favourite in table tennis. And, and, and you think winning the, the table one tennis of the, wins one of the, in the big match reasons why it was 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 what we just saw at that point there because his serves are better. Mm. Um, and I think Luke is, is going to struggle a bit with his serves. Yeah. Um, where I don't think Ratza will struggle with with Luke's. Uh, so it's, it's a good rally by good. Yeah, took the initiative from uh, from the first ball and, and and finished off with 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 the attack. I think Luke. I think really Luke needs to win the table tennis here. Uh, yeah, uh, and I think we, we'd expect the badminton to be fourteen to sixteen, perhaps. I mean, it, I'm, it's I'm, I'm very curious to see the badminton. I mean, I, I feel mean, like Luke is is a really good badminton player, but if if Rata have the same. Can get anywhere near the same Rassel level as, as his yes, best he has that he did before. before then, yeah. then he should be the favourite to. Uh, I think it, it's it's one of those matches where I can see if Luke plays the best badminton of his life, he can win it, and if Jesper plays the best badminton of life, it could be single figures. Yeah, and and it, it so it, I think it's obviously the badminton will, will be the most. Oh, I think that's Luke's second warning for throwing the ball high enough. Hopefully that doesn't get into his head, but we have just discussed his mental strength, so I don't think it will. Yeah, two warnings is that normal in, in table tennis? Do you, do you get do you get two warnings? Oh, well that looked like that looked like he uh, he tossed it quite high. Oh, we, we really don't want the we don't want the, the referees the to referees uh, to take over the game. That would be that would not be what we want to see here. Looked like the last one he, he tossed it pretty high, but yeah. 
And then it hit the net and went off the table, I think, didn't it? It did, so so he probably lost the point anyway, but... Yeah, what a shot from Luke. It does fire him up, though, like, yeah, yeah. When, when things like that happen, right? I mean, I think that comes down to his mental strength, and he, and he, he likes... He's, he's a very proud boy. He likes proving, and obviously not that he's proving the ref wrong, wrong but uh, mm. you know, if, he, if he has a, a, even an ounce of embarrassment and loses a point, it makes him even happier when he wins the next one because he's so proud to... Uh, well, it's going to be interesting now when he's serving now. Yeah, is he serving better? Or? <laughs> the cheek it. I think that's uh, I think that's Max trying to uh, to tell the referee that it's not a let. No, but I think that's very bad because it, it, he, 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 I, I watched that very carefully and he, he definitely threw the ball up. No, quite, no, quite I think high. the referee called a let. No, no, she, she gave the point. Oh, really? Yeah. So it, Rats have gotten two points off uh, wow. of that now. So. Rats is telling telling the referee that he doesn't want to gain points for that. Yeah. Very good of Rats. So you can you can hear the applause from the from the crowd for that. And the referee is having a discussion or I think I think the referee on who's sat on the right hand side is just um is just telling the, the umpire that that Ratsa does not want to take any points for Luke's serve not being high enough because he is happy with the height of the serve. I don't I don't think they're gonna redo the point, no. no. But he's saying he does not want to gain any more points no, no, from no, Luke's I mean, no, I mean, serve. No, I, I, I really don't, like, if you want to call a, a fault on, on, on that serve, mm. which, which uh, I mean, then, I mean, wow, you can, you can call so many faults on... on, on I think... I think the main issue oh, is. Sorry. I think the main issue with it is it's. Is it obviously the referees are, are, are trained and they are, are very high level referees, yeah. but it's, it's subjective. We don't know if it's less or more no, than six but, inches. But, 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 but the, the serve that that uh, that Lucas <laughs> is doing here is is. is you think it, it's absolutely fine? No, I th for me it's it, it's fine. I mean, I mean, don't want to call any anyone out here, but 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 I've seen uh, in the elite class as well. Uh, s so many uh, worse serves uh, yep. in terms of if how legal they are. Um, um, so, so yeah. Unfortunately, that's kind of taken over the game a little bit in the Indeed. in the in the it's first half there. And it's not and the talking point we it want, but it but could it could have been Luke first to eleven there if 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 uh, the referee hasn't uh, punished him for uh, for those. So now he really needs to. Yeah, we'll certainly we'll Just certainly hope back. to be back, back for back in the men's semi-final for the um, for the badminton. But for now, I think we'll stick with the the first women's semi-final here. We'll just check and see if we've got a final score for Steena's match. I can I'll get it. So as you can see on screen there, Natalie needs 20 points from this position, Amka just 16. So we'll, we'll return to that match after the after the table tennis here. So uh, Luke with the first point after the, the break. the first point of the second half. And the second as well, and you can hear how happy he is with that. Just check that uh, that uh, score between Steena and Anna Clara. But I believe uh, we'd think that that the match is probably over already, isn't it? If not mathematically, then yeah, yeah, it, it yeah. is. Uh, uh, it is anyway. It is over. But um, yeah, you, and uh, you you can see how big the crowd is is here. I think. When the draw was made, I think this was the matchup everyone was looking for, wasn't it, Chris? It was for sure. Everyone was excited for the semi final. I mean, I mean, it was a very exciting quarter final as well, with with uh, on paper Jesper against uh, Cohen, yeah. uh, the the current world number three. Yes, um, I think we all looked out for that. Fortunately, match, right? Cohen had to pull out uh, with injury, so so this is the one. It's the one we're looking at. 
No, I, I don't think this crowd's going to get smaller in the, in, for the badminton, is it, Crest? I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. Could be potentially the best, depending on uh, depending on what happens in the other semi-final. I think this could be the best badminton set we watch all week. Um, yeah. Depending what happens in the semi-final. I mean, if if, if you have Ratta winning this and playing play and, and, and Silva also yeah, wins, then, then I think maybe that's that could be better. I, I, don't th know. I think. That's what I was thinking. That would be the only set that would be better. So, it, assuming that Ratsa plays turn on, whatever happens, in, in, you know, it could be in the third, fourth, it could be in the final. And, uh, and yeah. I've never seen so many. Uh, I've never seen so many people taking photos at a racket on match. I must admit, lots of people here that uh, that know the name Jesperazza but perhaps only started playing three or four years ago so they uh they're eager to watch him play. I know um I know Jordan Marcus is a bit of a fanboy himself. Yeah? Yeah absolutely he's got posters on his wall. With what Luke? Of of Ratza. Oh really? Mm. It's the, he's cheering for the one wrong one then. Indeed he's uh he's a big Ratza fan. But um idolizing uh, Jesper Ratza, that's uh that's the first. <laughs> per perhaps just his racket skills. We, we can all be jealous of his racket skills, can't we? Yep. But uh, yeah, 15 all here. Luke Luke will be very ha very happy. I mean, you can hear he's very very happy. Of course, he he always lets you know his, how he's feeling. I have to admit, looking at this serve from here, it doesn't look very high. Sorry, I said for, I, I'm, I'm I'm no TT expert, but I'm. I'm looking here, it doesn't look like he's throwing the ball very high. Mm. That's three the legs in a row. So the rule is uh, 16 centimetres. Uh, oh, is it not six inches? So that's a bit less, isn't it? 16 centimetres is... Uh, a little bit less? Like. Um, how much is an inch? I'm not sure. Two, about two and a half centimetres. Okay. Uh, yeah, so then it's probably Similar. about accurate. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. 16 centimetres, that's, that's the rule. I don't know how you can... Measure that exactly, one. but uh, but but yeah. Obviously, the the umpire didn't think uh, in the first half that Luke was throwing the ball up. Um, I, I, I must have, I must admit, looking at it from here, I, d I I would almost agree. Not not that I'd ever be brave enough to call him out on it. But no, but 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 definitely after he got warned in the in the first half, yeah. he, he definitely threw the ball up higher, higher. and it was fine. Yeah. I played Luke a uh, number of times, and uh, I I mean. His service is not. Uh, it's, it's not so bad that that, that, that I've ever said anything no. about it. Like I like, uh, if I play Max Plettenberg, for example. Uh, it, I mean, I think he's serving very, very legally and, and takes advantage of it as well because he he, he gets more spin. Yeah. Uh, by doing so. Yeah. Into his serve, and uh, I think then you take an advantage here. He doesn't gain an advantage no. uh, by throwing the ball up maybe two centimeters lower than no. than, than he should. So, so, wow! Big four points oh, from Luke. What a great rally! 16 all, and he's now 26 up. And you'd think winning the table tennis, if he wins the next point, winning the table tennis by five points, would probably have him as favourite by most people. Perhaps not yourself, of course. But uh, I still, I mean, I mean, obviously there's a few important points here. I mean, yeah. if he can f finish it off in the first first time here that would be big for Luke mm. oh, that was the show I was talking about earlier that I, I, I believe Ratta would, would well, believe that Luke would have a, uh, have some issues with yeah it's very deceptive because he can serve it both with side under and side over okay this one was over and yep. Luke did oh close close to the that was so close but again, that was two two really good serves for Ratza. So one yeah. one first one was side under. Uh, Luke put it in the net. Second one was side over, and Luke didn't read it and and put it high, so Ratza could could get an, on an the easy attack afterwards. So good one two from from Ratza there. And there it is. And there it is. The uh, the table tennis is concluded. Good uh, mental strength from Luke to yeah, come really back after uh, really. the issues he had with uh, with the umpire in the first half. Yeah, uh, strong strong mental game again. Indeed, and, 
That's what we say with with both these players are so strong mentally. And uh, I'm just gonna just gonna show. Uh, I mean, the noise in this hall. I don't think you're really picking it up, but I'm just gonna show. Just gonna show the, the hordes of people flooding to the badminton. You should. Uh, Vol Volker Sachs wondering what, what what's on the back of his t-shirt. We should go and uh, check on the tennis. I will with, certainly uh, check on the tennis. Yeah, you know. So we're at three ten. Unfortunately for these women, there's not much of a crowd. Oh, I'm k up eleven. Oh three. wow, wow. So she needs just eight points to win. So it, this from this position, it looks like it's it's it's, it's amp Do you know the reason why Lucas uh, gone over to uh, to the forehand serve? I'm it's not the first, sure. First tournament I've I've seen him. Play forehand serve, I and I, I, I wondered. I wondered uh, when I saw him early in the tournament because he he, he always used to serve uh, back you know, the, the, the the more classic backhand serve. I think um, I'm not sure. Maybe it's something he and his brother discussed, in ter or he's discussed with his coach about getting more efficiency or, or more accuracy. Maybe on the serve. maybe he feels it's more deceptive, more deceptive because, because it's, it's it's you know it's a bit tougher to read, especially when he's when he when it's flicking. Yeah. Well, we have a lot of action going on in here. We have uh, the the table tennis started in the other match as well, uh, the other men's semi-final. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on all those scores. It's so five uh, five two in the table tennis. This is to turn uh, on against the Karen pinnacle Burke. of of record, and this is uh, this is what we all love. <laughs> right. Luke's on the board. Luke's first great, point. Great backhand tap. Here our commentating skills comes uh, to a test with uh, with this high level of badminton here. Indeed, um, I'll, I'll leave all the. Uh, we're not exactly a badminton pair, unfortunately, are we? We're not. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, look! It's a fantastic look rally with that Luke. one. Rata missing. A I'm not saying easy tap, but but he definitely should have done uh, done better than that. Apparently, we've got news in from from Leon. He serves forehand, so he gets a better flick. So that that comes yeah. down to the deception, yeah. then, doesn't it? So I was actually right. Um, <laughs> First time in badminton. <laughs> I was actually right. It, it is a more deceptive flick for yeah. sure uh, when you serve it with a forehand. It's 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 much tougher to read. Oh, that's good net play by Luke. Good defense by Ratza. Good clear. That's good rally here. It's a very good rally. Great rally. Wow. Good. Good rally by Luke. Though. I mean, Luke, Luke is is forcing Raptor into a couple errors here, and yep. I mean, I mean that that's obviously the game plan, isn't it? I mean, and that, that that's the thing. I mean, we, we, we I think we all believe that that Raptor at his prime would be winning this badminton set, but 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 obviously having played so little Raquelon and competitive badminton uh, for so long, you know, it's, it's there's question marks on on how how good Luke, uh, oh sorry, how good Raptor actually yeah. is in, in the badminton court. That that point here was a very uncharacteristic mistake, uh, directly off the serve of, of Luke. So good start for Luke, and oh, it's a great pickup by Luke. What a pickup that is! It's, yeah, that's and that's exactly what I saw. I mean, good. I uh, personally, you know, had still have ra had Rata as the favorite in, in, in to to win the badminton, but uh, I'll be honest, I, th I think most people did because yeah. Luke is an exceptional badminton player, but I think Rata's experience and and Rakitlon experience as well, you could say. Yeah. Although Luke has, of course, yeah. been playing for, for yeah. about ten years himself. Yeah, Luke is in in, in obviously in, in better Rakitlon shape and yeah. has 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 been in this position so many times in in the last uh, over the last years where. Rata haven't been in this position since the uh, uh, 21 World Championships in Switzerland. No. Oh, some lovely rallies developing here. And I think... Uh, what you heard in the background there was a big cheer for for turn on, I believe. Yeah. Maybe swap over and see if she's. We'll just take a look at the tennis score. See what's going on here. Looks like there's been a might have been a little break there uh, in the tennis. All the score is not updating.
still playing, so uh, so Natalie's still in it. Yeah, we she she we must have uh, clawed her way we're back. Just, a, a just awaiting confirmation of the score. Oh, we just saw the match point. Oh, Amka, and Amka has won the match. Amka has beaten Natalie Vogel in the first women's semi-final. I'll keep. The scores were 8-21 to Amka, 21-14 to Natalie, 21-18 to Natalie. And we're just awaiting confirmation of the tennis score. But we can confirm Amka Fisher has won the match. So we'll come back to the badminton here. Is that the last time we've seen uh, we've seen Natalie? You think? You think I know she you was. Uh, the last time we'll I see know Natalie. She, I know she was. Uh, she was hesitant to, to to play this one, but so you think she came back uh, to defend the title? She she wanted to defend the title, yeah. and, and uh, I was one of the the, the people uh, that convinced her to to come and defend the title. Oh, nice. uh, it, it's always it's always uh, it's always sad to see someone not return to defend the title, yeah, isn't it? But I mean, I I, I definitely I hope it's not the last time we've seen her. Obviously, no, she's, she's going to well. try and win the teams uh, yeah, tomorrow as well. I um, and I think Germany, they have a great chance. Don't Germany they? have a very good chance. Of, I mean, they won the title two years ago, and yeah. can do it again this year. Sure. I think it was fi they have five. Me they obviously have Natalie and Amko, who are both both in the semi final. But I think they also had they also have five men reach the round of 16. In um, yeah. Simon, Jörg, uh Cornelius. Did Max reach the round of 16? Uh, yeah, I mean, Simon is the highest ranked. Simon, of course. And yeah. then there's Jörg uh, and uh, Max. Max and Cornelius. And then they have uh, Torsten and, and Torsten. Christian oh, Torsten as well. Oh, and Christian as well, yeah. I mean, so. So Maybe yeah, so it's, it's a think, very strong team. I think team. They, ha they have seven players in the men's side, don't and they? then they have the two semi-finalists of the two of the, the best women in the world. So <laughs> yeah. it's a very strong team, and but I don't see any fear in your eyes, Preston. I think um, I think Germany is, is is our biggest competitor this year. I think I mean never rule out the GB with 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 Luke obviously. Um, with Leon not injured, really. but uh, on the women's side. You're not that strong this year. No, uh, unfortunately not. He's, I mean, he's not playing. Matilda's very competent, but, but Matilda's competent, and, and but when you look at Anna Holly as well on the team, and Holly, but Holly's probably going to have to play juniors. So, yeah. but yeah, I mean, Matilda's very, very competent, of course, top eight. But we'll switch to the TT now. We can hear a lot of screaming, and well, I, sh I assume oh, it's Sil cheering. Sylvain with 15-8 lead here. Is, wow. uh, is, uh, and so do you think that 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 that's got to uh, be the to match over? Isn't it? I spoke to Sylvain before. Uh, for the match and, and he said table tennis is the one yeah. like so I mean winning this now it's a bit like Stina winning against yeah. Akari it, that, um, that should be the match really I mean I I, I thought before the the start of this it, it would be a 50-50 table tennis yeah uh, but it's not is it wow um, but, like but, but this Sylvain knew before going into this match table tennis is going to be the absolute key f key for me in this in this match um, yeah and uh, he's really, yeah. It looks like he's he's really come out uh, of 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 the blocks and uh, want to to take the table tennis. It's yeah. a bit wild. He's it's made a, a made a couple there. couple mistakes there in a row. Uh, clearly, we're not his. Uh, clearly, we're not good luck charms for him. Yeah. But yeah, 15-11 in the table tennis. We'll just go back to the badminton now. I mean, a Luke at 11-6 up will be delighted, yeah, won't he? It's going to be very happy with that. Wow. So, and, he, and he's. It looks like all my predictions for this match have gone absolutely <laughs> down the drain. I thought, I thought uh, Jesper would win the table tennis. I thought yes. Jesper was going to win the the badminton. the badminton. I also think Jesper was going to win the squash, but uh, uh, I might. I think. I think. I think. I think. I think, I think, uh, I think most people should expect that. Yeah. I mean, you, you can still hear this this shouting from from Silvan. The score currently getting up at 16-12. So he's obviously won. He obviously lost three points in a row and won one back. Hence the big cheer. But yeah, back to this badminton. I think I think Luke is just yeah he's developing the rallies to a point where Ratzer is clearly quite uh, uncomfortable and uh, he's making a lot yeah, of errors, isn't it? I think he is making him uncomfortable and and, and Ratzer is, is I don't think he's match fit enough in, in badminton to to rally to, with Luke. to get out of the situations yeah. that he's been put in, which uh, which he hasn't been put in for so long. Yeah. Um, but but that being said, if Ratzer were to win this match, you think this badminton set is e extremely good practice for yeah, playing turn on if he plays turn yeah, in the final. Uh, I mean, if he can claw him with himself in back into this, would be huge. Oh, lovely net play there. That's a good rally. Great backhand clear from Luke. Oh, what a rally! Yeah. And well won by the uh, by the world champion. And um, 
it, it looks like Rats is holding his racket quite high up, and I think I've got some insight from uh, from from senior senior Griffiths brother Leon that he, he does that near the shaft, and and that's that's due to his incredible wrist strength. That yeah, I but, know we, we see but, a lot in he, squash as well. I mean, it's, it, I mean, in the serve he he's very high on the shaft, yeah. but but uh, it's not so bad b b b when he's actually playing the rallies. Um, It's, it's, it's uncharacteristic. I mean, it's not the Ratsa we've seen uh, five years ago. He, he would never make these sorts of mistakes. Um, and, uh, you know, Coach Melde right now is, is, is trying to cheer him up and, and, and keep him in, in this game. He really needs to, to start turning around now, otherwise the deficit is going to be quite big. But Lucas just initiative. He's so fast on the ball. He, yeah, he's, he's getting to the shuttle before yeah, yeah, Rats but is but even back in position. I mean, that, that's what we talked about with, with, with Anna Clara, right? Yeah. Like exactly, I mean, we see the where Luke is reading the game so well, he takes one quick step to the front of the court and he's, he's there to, to pressure Rats so early on the, on the shuttles. Rats with one point here. All the applause there is because Turn On has won the table tennis against York 21-13. I mean, you'd think that makes it turn on to lose now. Very, isn't it? very yeah. tough for you to, uh, from here. No, what a lovely rally developing here. And Ratso it into the net. It's another. It, he's really, really forcing Ratso into the net. It looks like. Areas. It looks like. Uh, I mean, I mean, Luke. Luke gets the initiative more in the rallies than than Ratso, and 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 Ratza normally, when he was at his best, badminton, he was he was defensively. Unbelievable! Yeah. Like, like he was getting every shuttle back with with interest every single time. But it looks like he, he's struggling a, a bit with that uh, today. Mm. Um, interesting enough, we saw Ratza go with the with the high forehand serve before as well. So, so he's trying to change some things here. Maybe trying to be deceptive. Mm, yeah, oh. but it, it wasn't a dis it wasn't the it wasn't the the deceptive one. It's just the high si high single serve. The the classic uh, 90s high single serve, and but normally he always served the backhand, but he he must feel uncomfortable serving the backhand. Mm. I think he's back to the backhand pa serve now. Pa perhaps you feel Luke was, um, he's back was to putting the him under a lot of pressure. Oh. I mean, Luke's, Luke, Luke's returns of serve are looking quite deceptive. That might be the issue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I feel uncomfortable do serving short to, to Luke as well, mm. um, because... I just feel uncomfortable <laughs> serving to him. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, that's, that's, uh, that's not good. He's not happy with himself as well. No. But I think I think he needs to maybe take a deep breath and just think about the situation. It's very uncharacteristic uh, racket on badminton from, from Jesper. Like, yes. normally he's so good at this, but... Um, do you think it's a fitness thing then? It's not a fitness. I think he's physically he's 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 pretty good. Um, what what would you what would you put it put it down to then the the uncharacteristic play? Sorry, say again. What, what would you put it down to the the, the uncharacteristic badminton we're seeing from him here? Uh, just not being match fit. Like he he's, he hasn't played any competitive badminton for a very long time, regular nor normal badminton. So. So it, it's just the small details, small margins that, you know, it's not really there because he's, he's not match fit. Mm -hmm. And we've just seen two, two unforced errors from, uh, from Luke there, hitting a, a forehand smash out to Ratz's forehand side. Pretty much the same shot in a row. Just a wipe of, a wipe of the grip to, to cement the accuracy there. Again. Wow, a lovely cross. Uh, that's better. That's better defense. But again, he's better for Luke. it's it's Luke on the attack. It's Luke that that has the initiative in the, in the rallies. It's Luke uh, that's taking the rally to Rats. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and and he gets the opportunities and and he doesn't. It, it's a very smart uh, finishing shot here. He doesn't hit it hard. He just takes a bit of pace off and and, and holds it down, uh, which is which is very difficult to defend. Um, sometimes it's it's much easier to defend a hard smash. Um, then, then that little one, especially on, because he knows that Luke can follow up afterwards. Uh, he's just screaming here that that he uh, he doesn't hit, hit one net shot. Uh, he's very right. unhappy with himself uh, at the front of the court. So, yeah. 
I would say he would need a few more points here. That would. Uh, You'd think so, wouldn't you? Yeah. Really make it uh, better for him for the rest of the game. Wow, that is huge. Nine points. Luke has won the badminton tour, and I think uh, even me being a Brit and a great friend of uh, of Luke, I, I didn't I didn't expect him to win the badminton. Yes, but I, 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 all I can remember from my early my early racket on career was watching Jesper play badminton, and it, it was just exceptional. Destroying it was everything. destroying people. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I mean, it was just except it was just exceptional. But um, but yeah, wow, Mr. Luke Griffiths played potentially his best uh, his best badminton there, don't you think? Like we mentioned, he took he took the rallies to to Ratza and he forced Ra Ratza into a lot of mistakes. Yeah. Oh, Luke, Luke played really good, uh, really good, but Luke got badminton, and, and I think. I think Ratza didn't hit the the level that that uh, that he can. No, um, unfortunately, um, made a lot of mistakes at the net. Uh, defensively, not as good as he, he normally is. Yeah. Um, so I think Ratza is going to be very disappointed with this with this score. Uh, Watched it, of course. Um, I, I mean, as I said uh, yesterday, I, I when I when I spoke to Emil, I, I said uh, Ratza would win 20 or 13 in squash. I mm. will stick with that prediction, and then hopefully I get one right. Yeah. Um, uh, even even if he does win 21-13, he's still going to be down before the tennis, um, with Luke probably being the favourite on the tennis court. He's he's, yeah, well, I say definitely, he, you'd be surprised if he's not the better tennis player. Oh, was that was that picked up? Yeah. Looked like it rolled to me, but no, it's just the camera angle. Good luck. And uh, what what do you make of these uh, these show courts that are sort of 50% each uh, each material? I think they're good fun, aren't they? What they like to play I mean, on? I mean, I... I it's difficult sometimes when when you have when you have uh, concrete on one side yeah. and, and glass on the other. But but uh, I think this one plays very well. A um, yeah. little bit dark in in some areas, especially when you when you lob because it's a the ceiling is black and and yeah. then you have a very strong light coming into it. So sometimes you lose the the ball a little bit uh, on lobs. Yes. Um, and it's 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 a bit uncomfortable when you have to play overhead. But I think I think sorry in general it's a really nice court. Yeah, I think Luke's asking for a let here because he's adamant the ball is down. But referee's decision is the referee's down on decision. The ball there and, and the last one. No, I think. Or, or the pickup. I think. I don't think Rats is happy, which is fair enough. So the referee has said he's not sure on on whether the ball was up or down. I, th I think it's the one I thought might have been down on the front right, maybe. But I, I, didn't th I thought that looked very good, but uh, but uh, I don't know if there's maybe I'm wrong there. But I'm, I'm, I don't know if there was another one that looked um, that looked down to you. There wasn't to me. No, but maybe, but maybe, maybe it was the last drop because the the tin is a little bit tough to to read on the f on the very top of the tin. Okay. Um, it's a bit soft. No, it just it it it, it goes up in a little curve. Oh so okay. so sometimes it can be very it doesn't bounce off. It can obviously. be tricky to to see if yeah. it's if it's down or not on the top of the tin. Uh, for Indeed. me at least. So so they are playing a let ball and it was a long rally. Uh, something tells me this is going to be a long squash. Set. Uh, it should be a long squash. And that's that's of course what we want as spectators. Definitely going to need a coffee after this one. Oh, oh great shot, Luke. Luke. But I think that's he what read, he read the cross court well there. He does uh, Do punish Ratza for that. And he, he he's obviously an extremely competent squash player. And Ratza's not gonna not gonna look to finish rallies off early. Do you think Luke should look to take rallies early, or do you think he should work the rallies like he did that um, last one and, and just try and anticipate the ball? I mean, he, he can't he can't take it too early, right? Yeah. Ratza is, is he will punish that. Um, yeah. So so he needs to to get to the right opportunity. Um, and, and find the right moment to, to, to play the attacking shots. That's not like that. That's not that's not good. It wasn't the right shot choice anyway. No, I mean a little bit unlucky clipping the, the nick yes. in, in the in the front front left. But yeah, you can see here like like Leon um mentioned to me during the badminton, Ratzer does hold his racket quite high up when he's in the back corners to really dig it out and he does yeah, have in the, in well the, in the squash in the squashy yeah. he, he really have a very short uh, and, and I think that's a break, and that just proves that the power he has in his wrist yeah to really to really yeah. whip that ball I think uh, I think it's 16-3 in the badminton so Jorgas picked up a couple more points so he'd, he'd probably look to see if he can push for five here wouldn't he wouldn't he Creston yeah it's funny because Jorgas uh, is definitely a better Badminton player than I am, but <laughs> but get, making points on on Tenong, it doesn't really matter if you're my level or his level. No, um, no. And I, I think I made four and and did 
probably looks like he's going to do the same. And I think in Rakitlon, I mean, tell me, this is certainly the, the case at my level. I, I'm probably wrong when it comes to Elite, but it, I think it helps more when you play someone who has a little bit more ability to play the sport because they're more likely to play conventionally. Um, I'd say definitely in squash. Yeah. Uh, when you have someone who, who plays, you know, a clean squash up and down the walls yeah. and, 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 and you're the better but, player. But, but don't really have so many weapons. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's nicer to play against as a good squash player than someone who just Unorthodox. goes for it yeah. and plays all sorts Random of, you know, boasts, yeah. less just <laughs> senders and, 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 and whatever, whatnot. But, um, so yeah, it's it's definitely easier to keep weaker players that play a, a clean sort of squash um, yeah. to a to a to a, a lower score. Good, good working both by Luke there. Yeah, they're Brett both. Is, uh, is, is picking it off. They're both playing quite um, quite conservative. They're it's, you know it's almost like it. I always say that top level squash is almost like a game of chess. You're thinking three or four shots ahead, aren't you, about no, where your opponent's going to be moving, it is. where you're going to open up the space. Oh, oh, oh what a shot from Luke! But Ratsa's picked it up, that's and he's put the pressure yeah. back on him. That's an incredible pickup from Ratsa. So that's a fantastic shot from Luke, wasn't it? It's true. The the the, the pickup in the front left was amazing, and and he managed to get a decent boast out of it. Yeah, uh, and then uh, got on the got on the next one quickly um, so yeah he's he's still moving he's turned 41 now uh, mm. that was, I, couldn't, uh, I couldn't believe it when I realised how old he was but uh, he's still like I know he, he ooh, what a shot by Luke was that up yeah fantastic it's a great big little, cheer uh, from the crowd great little decep deceptive poster and a big cheer probably through our microphones from the uh, the Frenchman turn on as he's won the badminton 21-3, we'll just check the maths on that. But he takes a cracking lead into the uh, into the into the squash, doesn't he? He is. Let me confirm for you. 26, 26 points yeah. up, so four points. Sorry, if he wins, he just needs uh, 20. Uh, he just needs 17 points. 17 points the rest of the yeah. match. Yeah, which uh, and I think um, no less. No, 17. No, 17, yeah, exactly, yeah. Yes, and I think... Ooh. No, that he was too late on it, I think. Yeah, yeah, I, I think, think right. when he was asking, he was uh, he was turning he the wasn't, back... He, he wasn't was, ready, he was, yeah. He was turning the back wall. Uh, I didn't. I don't think he knew where the ball was until no. it actually hit the back wall, and then it was too late. Then he, he couldn't play cross-court anyway, so... I think it was a good decision by the ref there. Indeed. Didn't really complain about it either, Look, so... No, no, I think I think he knew. He's, he's he, he plays enough squash to know yeah. what he can and can't can and can't earn oh, oh, it's, oh. An, it's another lovely pick up from Ratso and I think he got a little bit lucky with that one because uh, it was, it was, it was yeah, glued to it the was wall tight wasn't it and uh, he, he managed to play the perfect counter drop with the, with the frame of the racket off the wall so uh, again you uh, you make your own luck in this sport right that was mm. a tight one from Ratso that uh, Luke couldn't dig out of the side wall Volleying when it's that tight is always a always a risky game to play. It is. It is. Sometimes when you're committed to it, you don't have a choice. Good job, I look there. Oh yeah. I think I think Luke is working the rallies really well. He's keeping Ratsa yes, moving, but but, uh, but Ratsa is, is is picking it off, right? And he is. And he is. as soon as Luke is not sharp enough taking it in, then yeah. uh, Ratsa is going to punish him. I mean, this this I mean, seven points to to Ratsa. I mean, if this carries on, you, you it's another prediction that's technically quite wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Six or seven points right now. Right now, uh, correct as correct as winner though. As things are going, he's not looking at thirteen points in squash here. No, Luke. No. But I think with the, with some good with some good tips from my I would assume Dan Busby. Is the Busby on the coaching here? Must be, who who will be coaching Ratsa? Would be yourself normally, no? Uh, probably, but uh, I wouldn't say anything right now to him that no. uh, to change. Yeah, he's, Bus, he's Busby is on the coaching there. The best squash player in uh, in that room probably at the moment, wouldn't you think? Uh, yes, but yeah. Yeah, probably. Did he, he beat Dan? Did he beat Dan? Yeah, but but even even, Dan, even the best players in the world still. No, they need some tips. They yeah. still get advice, and 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 when you see some different things from the outside than you do when you're on court. So, 
So even Ali Farag is uh, is getting tips and, and it's like tactical advice. Well, he need tips for up here though, doesn't he? Yeah, <laughs> Sometimes. Well, uh, some players have need something. I think Luke now as well is okay. Uh, Eleven three down. Um, Who's that one? Eleven three down. Obviously now okay. Let's fight for to get enough points to get it into a, an even tennis. Yeah, um, absolutely. So right. so to be an even tennis, he needs to win. Well, he's down. Uh, he's down by four now, and that's with an eight difference. He's so down eleven before. Uh, he's up eleven, right? So, well, no, he's down now. He's da He's up by four now. Yeah. So he needs to. Sit, he needs to get nine for it to be an even tennis. Yeah. Well, even tennis, but he can he can get ten or eight for it to be a game of tennis. Yeah. So eight eight the minimum, five more points really. Yeah. I mean. I mean. Uh, he, he, I won't, mean he won't need the pressure, but even if Ratsa needs sort of seventeen or more. Yeah. Or yeah. Yeah, but, but, but he would prefer now. Okay, now let okay. Let's try and let me try and get it to be so an even tennis yeah. uh, and and come in all square. Yeah, um, and I'm sure Dan will also mention it. Okay, listen, you need this many points yeah. for it to be a, a, an even tennis. So don't give up. The I mean, keep playing and and keep fighting for the points. And Absolutely. and if it, if you're down two or down one, that doesn't really matter. Then 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 you play a gomiam if 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 things go uh, in that direction. So. Um, something I, I I used to when I was uh, coaching Yes uh, Kasper uh, Jönsson because he 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 had a tendency to, on the squash court to to kind of stop playing when when <laughs> things were going against him. I said, okay, you need you need three more points yeah. now to make it uh, an even tennis. Yeah. So keep playing until then, and then if you get two more after that, it doesn't matter because no. you already have the even tennis yeah. game, and and that doesn't change if you're plus one or minus one. Um, oh, lovely put away yeah, from Rats. Lovely put away. It was good put away on the on Luke on the first point there so yeah. after the break as well. So one all after the break. Uh, Luke Luke looking for five more to make it even tennis. Um, see if he can get there. Oh, he kind of had him the wrong way there with the with the little uh, deceptive uh, backhand shot. But put into the ten. But yeah, I think I think he's he, well. Obviously, he had a terrific badminton, winning far more than he wanted to. But he yep. he, he won't be happy with himself in the squash. I think fr from what I can see, I don't know if I think Rats is just running him round more than yeah. More than he and wants. he's early on the balls. Yeah. He's swallowing he's more. He's just quicker and um, tighter with his shots. This one yeah. was was Rally be, uh, Rats being early on the on the forehand volley, and and Luke couldn't get into position with his legs, making them making the error. He's trying to take it in short again here, but I mean, Luke, Luke is, is pretty good at taking it in short, but on this court, it's it's very tough to make points it's difficult to you know, kill on the front yeah. court because uh, it's so warm, uh, especially today as well. I think it's 26 degrees outside, and, and that reflects uh, on the squash court. Yeah, you can see some of those some of those drop shots he's playing, especially off the volley, bounce, bouncing quite high yeah. in the front corner. So it's he's opting for the good, kill that was there. A good shot. That was a very good shot. And another sh up. another sharp yeah. another sharp drop shot rather than relying and on dying the in the nick there yeah. uh, so rather than relying on gravity using your own power to keep the ball short and uh, like he's looking for a few more here to get the I think he'll want double figures he'll definitely want double figures uh, I think I think right now he's looking for just to to to, to get to the nine I, I, I think yeah. nine or double figures I don't really think makes a big difference here well eight eight will make it a game of tennis I think but more than ten and he can he yeah. can go in needing twenty or less yeah but um. But yeah, I'd, I'd like to think he's not thinking of that right now, and he's just taking each point as it comes, as you as you have to in racket long. Oh, so that was uh, Luke. Was Luke was yeah. on the volley there. Ratze yeah, played yeah. a was a better rally, a loose cross court, and Luke was on the volley. And I think Ratze just needs to keep it straight and uh, and and with pace. Um, if he wants to go cross court, he needs to to do a better job than than, than that shot there. Oh, a bit of luck in the ten there. So, six, six so far. I, th I think he c he can definitely get to the eight and and, and yeah. hopefully the nine. He can to make it a game of tennis. And I'm I'm sure I'm sure. I mean, such a experienced Reckon player. Yes, he he knows. Okay, I need I need a couple more to yeah. to to make the tennis. Uh, and even and it's it's dead even right now as it stands. So this is impressive squash by 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 Jesper though. Oh, it's uh, I I don't think Luke 
I, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised uh, by, by it as well. I I've been training well. a bit with Ratsa in, uh, about a month ago in Denmark. And well, and he's not been that good, is that what you're saying? Uh, no, he wasn't He wasn't uh, to this level, but, but obviously in the in the month after he's been training. Oh, this is ridiculous. What a, what, a, what a counter drop rally that was. What was that, three, that four counter drops? In I, th in I think it was four. I think it was at least two each. We're, we're going to clip that. <laughs> big, cele big celebration for uh, by by Lucas. Well, he knew that point was important. He did indeed. He did indeed. 18-7. He needs one more. Oh, I thought that. Was oh, good. that's a stroke. Oh, you think? Yep. Yeah. I do think on the volley. Was, I guess it yeah, was yeah. very loose. Uh, it was loose. Yeah, loose yeah. Down the down the line. I think I was focused on Rats's position relative to the wall and not the ball. But but yeah, Luke will be happy with that. Two quick points. Yeah. One of them. One of them. So yeah, now it's very uh, easily. Now it's a game of tennis. Oh, oh that's a good pick up. Oh, what a lob. lob. What a lob. Oh, well, 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 well anticipated from Luke. This is fantastic. It's all happening now. This is a great rally. We we're really getting into the best squash of the set, and it's not been poor by no means. Another counter drop rally. Didn't fancy it. Luke's getting onto the ball early really well yeah, now. He's bowling a bit more. Yeah. Trying to. Trying to keep um, Jesper playing those moving. Oh, it's a lot. great trick or boast. This is this is a this is a classic Jesper, uh, deceptive uh, backhand, like badminton backhand uh, flick. Uh, he's had that throughout his uh, his uh, Rackland career. Uh, played that. I've seen that shot so many times. Also on the back end of it, which is <laughs> yeah. very annoying. But uh, but no, he he likes that shot a lot. Yeah, so for if Atta wins the next two, we, we still have a game of tennis, uh, a plus one. If Luke can get one more, he would be able to get uh, a Gomiam, mm. uh, losing by two points if, yeah. if it comes down to that. So one point could be could be in a, could be good for Luke here. Definitely, I think. Oh, oh, he oh interesting shot choice. Didn't want to... Oh, that's, that's a bad yeah, decision, four. unfortunately, from could Luke. Could have played a... Played cross court to roller, the, yeah. yeah. You know, just just cross court to the back there because Ratza was out of position. Yeah, it's. I think, I do think uh, what I, I don't think Luke's done much wrong in this game. I think Rats has just dominated. He's kept Luke moving, and, and I think you can see the fatigue within with some of the shots towards the end of the rallies. No, actually, this point is is, is pretty. M it's pretty meaningless in, in terms of uh, yeah. Like if Luke wins it, it's still it's still, still a game of tennis. tennis. Yeah. Um, if so he, he needs. Oh, right, yeah, beauty! <laughs> I think he guess I guess he needs two more right? in order to get the to have a target. Come, yeah. Well, if he wins one more, he needs twenty points, right? No, no never no. mind. So even I, I think it looked like Luke knew that that these these couple of points didn't mean too much um, yeah. so plus one minus one or zero uh, it's a game of tennis same, same thing um, one nil to rats so far on the tennis is that out yeah it looks two, like two it nil. two it's nil good start for uh, and, good start for Denmark here and Eliasson has 38 world titles world tour titles sorry and rats has 39 do you think that rats is the kind of character where he, he earned his 39th and then stopped <laughs> I know it was uh, it was, uh, was that his plan I'm, I'm not sure if it was the plan but, but it, he definitely had it in mind yeah and that was one of the reasons why he came back from for the Swiss World yeah. Championships, um, because that gave him that extra title to make him the most winning player ever on tour. Yeah. Um, and so I guess um, so now obviously a seventh world title would make him. I would cement him the one with the, the most yeah. World Championships open titles as well. And just just to compare that to to just so you can compare that stat of Ratzers to to some of the some of the elite players we have here today. I know there's a big age difference, but Leon um, Leon Griffiths has 13 singles titles and Luke has six. It's going to take so some years it, to, 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 to be able to get I mean, to we have to, to We have to give Elias and Anne Ratz some incredible credit there because third is, is Kren with 20. So clearly to get anything near 30 and above is takes some doing. Yep. I mean, it's just the sheer longevity. I yeah, mean, anyone, yeah, not anyone, but we've seen players like Morton and, I mean, and I mean, they'd be good um, for two or three years, but to be good for six or seven years is different, isn't it? Jesper started playing like a year or two before me, Jesper Ratta. So when was it, early 2000s? So or? that was 2009, 2010, oh, okay. yeah. something like that. Um, I think my first tournament was in 2011 and I met Jesper and Kasper uh, at, that, at that tournament for the nice. first time. 
Yeah, good start uh, by Jesper here. I mean, yeah, very strong. I'll probably get my another prediction wrong here with with believing. Uh, well, your squash wasn't bad. You said 13 to Ratsa and it was nine. Oh, look at that volley from Jesper. I mean, where did that touch come from? I was going to say it was a squash. It was a squash cross court volley. That what? One, I think, uh, wasn't it? What a beautiful what work. A but lovely it's lovely cross court drop volley by by It's quite funny there. because uh, I remember myself watching Ratsa when I was younger. You, you rarely saw him with a tennis racket. And there's a lot of no, because he always finished before tennis. Yeah, well, of course. He was so good yeah. that in many tournaments he, he won. Yeah. And he didn't even have to use his tennis racket. No, I, like I mean, he could have left it at home. I'm sure Jordan Marcus has got the statistics on how many matches he won before tennis. But just to remind people that yeah. since we moved over to tournament software in 16, 2016, something like that, he's never lost a racket on match on the international stage. 119 wins before this event and zero losses. So it'll be over 120 now. But could we be could we be looking at his first loss since the since the new era on tournament software? Luke, Luke got very lucky with the return there. He did. Had a had a sitter which which it looked like it bounced a little bit off the line mm -hmm. and made it a bit awkward. But uh, <coughs> but yeah, good start by by Jesper here. But I think clay court uh, clay court tennis suits Jesper's game quite well because he, yeah. he hits he hits oh. normally with a lot. Oh of no way. Top spin, wow. What a rally. This is, oh my gosh. So much back spin. This that. rally's had it all. It's in. It's in. Is that in? It it's is. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Holy. What an unbelievable rally. Oh, and that was could be big to win. Down the backhand side, Luke. Cross court, no. Cross. Oh, it's just out. That is possibly the best rally. That is possibly the best rally of the tournament we've seen across all the sports. I mean, it had it all, didn't it? Uh, it had frame it, shots. It had, uh, it had uh, frames, it had lobs, it had drops, it had what, passing yeah. shots. What, it a, had what, a, what, a, what a rally that was. It is, uh, it is incredible. Just uh, just having to uh, be careful of the of the decibels my voice gets to, as we do have uh, do have matches here on in, in the indoor hall. Very important point for Luke to win that one. Now, yeah, and I'll close the gap to, to two points. I think Luke's, Luke's look... Uh, so far, look nervous, um, especially with the forehand. Like, it looked, it looks like someone is, is holding his arm a little bit back. So, mm. maybe that point can can settle the nerves a bit. Indeed, yeah. Because it, it was a great. Po it's one of those points that goes on for so long and has so many different shots that you don't want to lose it. He got a bit lucky as well with the, with that overhead that he <laughs> absolutely the frame. framed and 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 made it really tough yeah. for lots of us. So Shank much thanks for coming. See, see Ratsa's uh, height above the net with, with, yeah. with the spin. It, it's like uh, Nadal-esque. I mean, uh, not yeah. no comparison here, but 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 Nadal hitting with so much topspin on clay is is what made it so difficult for his opponents uh, through his entire career. Indeed, you'd um, if Nadal played racket on, in, on on these clay courts, you'd probably predict him to win, and somehow he wouldn't. But um, I, I mean, people wouldn't get a point against him. Uh, oh, that was. Compared to the backhand volley we saw at the net earlier, yeah, that was he, a lack he, of control he, there. He, he yelled out uh, uh, correct to himself there. So, ah. so he was happy with, with uh, constructing the point and coming to the yeah. net, but, but just not no, need to finish with the, he worked uh, with it well, the, with the volley. Perhaps, I think, an, an open racket face, perhaps. Um, <coughs> but, um, but, yeah, I mean, as you can see there, this year on the scoreboard, we do have a, a little section for points needed to win. That is the, the, the dark grey you can see. At the end of them, at the end of the scoreboard, it's back level. So you can see that they both need 16 points to win, and this is this is it's going to be good fun, isn't it, Creston? It's back sure. level now. Uh, it's going to be good fun. That that point was that that big point was very important. Now he mm. took the next two, so uh, yeah, so, so instead of being in down row, four, there, yeah. instead of being down four after that rally, he was he's now down. Uh, well, he's now made it uh, back to even. And I think from from memory, from when we watched. Amka and Natalie. This end has the has the wind. We think. Although looking at the flags in the background, yeah, it just looked like yeah. it settled a little bit. Was that serving? Must have been. Ooh, oh, that's, that's a great good, shot. It's oh, a good strike. Great serve and a great. <coughs> serve, yeah, yeah, I think I think the wind's dropped a little, hasn't it? I think this looks looks like very little wind, but yeah. but if anything, it it probably comes from from the camera and towards mm -hmm. towards Jesper. Yeah. Yeah, and we can see the sun is shining here in Rotterdam. I think it's still high 20 degrees Celsius, so it'll be quite warm out there. Yeah, it must be tough for Luke, you know, and like um, from 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 London, from England, never seeing the sun. So 
Indeed. Maybe it's tougher conditions for him. And I, and I have just been corrected. We must uh, we must apologise to the women because uh, when I said Rats has the most singles titles of all time, that is incorrect because it is in fact Chrissy Seehofer oh of right, yeah. 40. You see, um, did you see that forehand by Luke again? Like from a really good position up the court, like it, it doesn't look like he's very comfortable with his forehand. Yeah. It looks uh, it looks nervous to me. It looks a bit soft, doesn't it? It looks nervous yeah. to me. He needs to uh, start start relaxing his I arm think a bit. He might be nervous because I think he knows he should probably win the tennis. Oh, was that just in? Yeah. yeah. Good length, good depth again. Yeah, this is good. This is really, really good, good depth, depth from Ratzer. Oh, he's coming in, coming late, that's and it's paid off. That's, that's right. well played from Luke. He's coming late so that Ratzer doesn't have time uh, to make the decision. He saw Ratzer would get uh, get get in trouble down down there and. and and couldn't get a, a quality shot out of where yeah. he, the position was in, so he sneaked sneaked in, and finished it off. His volleying so far by Luke has been good, but uh, but his forehand looks shaky. I definitely think uh, Rata have it's it's an advantage for for Jesper to play on the clay rather than mm. uh, on the indoors uh, yeah. here at because Rata I think. I think Luke, being a very competent tennis player, real clay will be the court, maybe along with grass that he gets does, to does play, he play on the does, least. Does he play much clay? No, no, this is what I'm saying. We don't have a lot of real clay in, no, in England saying. because of the weather. But yeah. So it's probably a surface he's not too practiced on. Yeah. And therefore, of course, that benefit. Where if it, if it was outdoor hardcore or artificial grass, you'd, you'd back yeah. Luke all the way, really. But yeah, it's it's it's, it's looking um, still looking quite close. Rats with a two point lead, which which in racket line is of course nothing. But at this stage of the game, it is it's bigger than it. Again, the last last two points have be. been unforced errors by by Luke. One one with the forehand and one with the with the backhand. Indeed, uh, here on this one, um, so he does. For me, he looks uh, he looks he looks shaky. But um, but that's the there's still a good half an hour left of this match if it if it goes all the way. So so maybe he can get. Get rid of those nerves. Indeed, indeed, and he's um, just a oh, and double uh, fault from Ratzer, and then uh, it's Ratzer making the double fault. Mm. Interesting. Both a bit nervous, maybe. <coughs> it is a I big mean, occasion. It is, it is the biggest occasion. Right? You're playing oh, for a, for a spot in the in the final of the World Champs, and um, obviously it's a common joke that Ratzer. It used to be a common joke that Ratzer didn't even bother playing tennis and that the rumour was his tennis was rubbish does he train tennis quite a lot mm, I know he's been he's played a little bit up uh, towards this tournament um, and and yeah uh, changed a few things in his game um, but I mean again that 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 shot right there you know you have the big topspin with depth on on, on clay quite quite height so, and depth, so yeah. difficult to uh, to play against them. and again I think for Luke, that would be so much easier in here on on the yeah. on the indoor surface on the hard court. I mean, we saw last year how how much he relished the indoor yeah. surface. Obviously, uh, yeah. played fantastic tennis against Turn on and um, and his brother, of course, in the final. Yeah. That's a good serve. Yeah, no, just out, just long. The uh, unfortunately, the service box I think are just covered by the net cord, aren't they? On our good second our visual, there. yeah, it is. I've, well, I've played against him a couple of times just Luke. for a friendly hit. Yeah, just a friendly hit, yeah. obviously. And his second serve has an incredible amount of kick on it. Oh, he's bring, oh. bringing Jesper in. Oh, it's yeah, Jesper won't, mm. as you can hear, not happy with that. Do you think it was the right decision? It looked like Luke preempted it, didn't it? But both yes and no. I mean, I mean, I don't think the quality of the shot was good enough, but no. but but it's also more technical coming up to the net like that you yeah. you're on the run uh, and the court is is much shorter uh, when when you're from that position so you need more you yeah. know hit the ball better or with, with more spin to make it come down into the court so technically it's it's diff most difficult to play uh, play the shot from 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 that point where Jesper had it it's a good serve he's brought him in a oh. oh, little fake there oh. that's, oh, good. that's, that's a good point by look and you can hear how that much looked, that, uh, that must let's let's nervous. Yeah. Uh, he he faked the drop shot, which he had just played the the, the rally before, and then flicked it flicked it long and set up a the easy uh, the easy winner in the end. And you can you can see, you could hear how much that meant to him to get yeah. that level yeah. at nine all. You think? Yeah, he's been he's been down by two for for, for almost the entire yeah. entire set. So yeah. 
it's uh, mentally it's, it's good for him to be back to uh, to all square. Twelve points each to win from here. No gummy and pops possible, obviously. As, uh, as unfortunately, as both players, <laughs> both players need just to win by the the set by two points to to get the win. Oh, nice. another double fault! Another double right. fault. Oh, that's you can costly. see he's not happy. Yeah, is it, 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 well that, that's also something that comes from match practice, right? Uh, well, the, the, I was going to say, the more yeah. times you you you're serving, and I mean, I'm guess I'm guessing it's the first match practice Jesper has in, yeah. in the last three years. Yes, is, uh, probably, is this probably. So it's all in the badminton. No, yeah. we we were seeing probably the effects of it in the tennis as well. Uh, yeah. Well, the, well, the first of all fault is what prompted me to ask about um about how much he practices tennis. So you say obviously he practices, but getting. I know the he played practice. with Melde uh, okay. before the tournament. I think he played a few more times, um, but he definitely worked most on his squash. Yeah. Um, that was the most important to him. To I mean, I think that showed today, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. His squash was impeccable uh, today. I think um, I think he probably knew that were he to play Luke or Sylvan, which pr are probably the two people you'd only. Th that, that probably could beat him that big squash was needed I would say I mean against uh, both uh, Luke and, and, and Sylvain I think he probably would have with some match practice in uh, badminton would have helped him a lot yeah uh, but, but perhaps, perhaps it, m my line of thinking is that even with lots of practice the badminton comes down to who's the better player on the day whereas he, if he knows he can be a better squash player yeah, before the, going into the match yeah but if it felt like in the badminton said they played like it was the small details that that he didn't do well yeah he, he didn't have the the normal rats of defense um that that he's so good at um so so had he played i don't know a few team matches or something in denmark uh, I, th I think that score would have looked completely different yeah. like it was obviously yeah. his first match practice in three years in in badminton and i think it showed in, in the small details that made him lose the, the the set so big, but it's tough to say. I mean, Raglan is four sports, and, and and preparing well in all four is very hard. It's very hard. It unless takes unless so much time. Unless and you're Anna Clara, and, and, and you can train eight times a week. <laughs> eight times a week is, is, is it's impressive. It's impressive. I, uh, if I try and train eight times a week, I, mean, I need eight days off. I mean, Jesper has obviously a, a family who's who's here. Indeed. Uh, yeah. Shout out to to Katarina and, and the that, kids. That, that was one of the reasons he stopped, wasn't it? Yeah, he's obviously a father of 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 two and well three. Um, um, the third on the way. No, no. Uh, Katarina already okay. uh, yeah. had a daughter uh, before they met, and uh, and uh, now they have a little Conrad and Siri as well. Um, both playing some uh, racket sports as well. I've, I've, I've met look. them. Uh, met them at the badminton court. One some more, some more prodigies then. <laughs> more prodigies. Maybe it's going to be all the the kids that's going to find it out uh, in. I mean, in ten years from now. I, kn I know. I think we'd all be fearful of a second generation rat. So that's for sure. That's a good shot by Rat. Yeah, yeah he's, he's big, he's big forehand there. Like, I think, you, like you were saying in the first half, he's really hitting these deep, almost yeah. looping forehands with so much spin. I mean, Luke. I mean, for those that don't know, Luke's about six foot two, and the ball's bouncing almost as high as his head. Mm. So there's nothing he can really, you know, he's a very, very good tennis player. But there's nothing you can really do in that situation apart from just try and get it back with equal spin. Oh, and that was that's that's what Nadal was so good at as yeah. well in his career, which is unfortunately looked like it's coming to an end here. Oh, oh, Rats had gone for the. Uh, you've, you've got to. Uh, I think you've got to give Rats a credit for going for that shot. I think it was oh, a. Yeah. So Luke came to the net with a with a mid-court shot. Ratzel went for a passing shot down the line. Luke read it, played a backhand cross drop that trickled over the net and Ratzel went for the cross. Yeah, the I don't cross think he net. could have done much else because it was... Uh, he, he was too close to that to lob it, wasn't uh, he? Ratzel yeah. not happy with uh, Luke's reaction, I think. Cheering uh, when he's, he's made a mistake. Just shouting to him, a nice shot, uh, I think. Ironically, I think uh, yeah. that was meant. But that was an important point. Uh, Luke, Luke keeps his two-point uh, advantage. Now Rats are serving. Needs to to keep those well, serves in play. And I mean, no more double falls now. It's that would be so painful for ideally him. Ideally, he needs to get his first serve in, let alone his second. Yeah, but it looks like uh, he's that out. Oh, yeah. that's not he's lost his rhythm a bit. Do you think? Do you a bit, think yeah. I mean, we we could you, could you might think that there's there's uh, there might be a favourable side here, but it doesn't look like there's yeah, any wind. If, if the there's sunlight, anything, I mean, like right now it looks like the, the, the flags are not moving at all. And the so sun the sunlight would be. 
Sunlight It'd be the other way around, wouldn't it? Phase, right? No, not it's, that coming, out, no. it's coming from uh, Yespus. Yeah, so right. this way. Yeah. So. so there's no favourable side. I think it's just a momentum switch, then, isn't it? I mean, I mean it, is it, now if a anything, point, Luke is serving into the sun here. Yeah, exactly. So he, um, he should have the disadvantage. But yeah, yeah I, th I think it just has to come down to a momentum switch then. Three or four point swing. Yeah, I mean, every point is so big for, big for me. Just, just <coughs> long, just long here. Luke's second surf. Lovely uh, one-handed backhand as well. From yeah, you don't see him play that that very often. No, no, I, I I clocked it once or twice in the first half, and I was looking for it again, and it didn't really happen. He yeah, normally up to these slices, doesn't he? He's more comfortable with, with the there slice. There it is again, that backhand. Yeah. I think with that backhand though, it is it is going mid court, which is the issue. Whereas the slice, he can get a bit deeper. Luke coming again, yeah. just out, I think. In. I think Ratz was quite happy with that rally. He he yeah. looked like he felt quite comfortable both slice. One-handed topspin, backhand, and then the forehand. Like uh, it felt like he f he found some uh, rhythm there. And yeah, look, look came in a good good time, but but missed the, missed the volley. Yeah, it's uh, yes yes, but working the rally, trying to work the rallies uh, from Luke rather than uh, going going for the finish, which I think you're right is uh, is, is the right thing to do. And it's great for us because we have had some some. Cracking tennis rally here. That's a great serve from Luke. Could but again, Rats have returned. Yeah, Rats with lots that, of topspin. The deep topspin looping shot, which is putting Luke under a bit of trouble here. Thought about coming in there, Rats, but yeah. chose not to. Good, good deep shot good from Luke. Luke. Yeah. And again, keep keeping Rats a pin. He's coming. A nice drop shot. He's, that's why Luke's been in a lot of the rallies. When yeah, Luke's been good at the net so far, I think. Yeah. Uh, he, he had the one one he missed a couple of points ago, but otherwise he's been very successful at the net. Yeah, and I think um, when yeah, and when Rats is coming in for the low pickups, it's he's hit the net a few times because yeah. he's. I, I think he's. I think he's trying to counter drop most of the time, isn't he? He doesn't want to lob Luke by the looks of it, but. Yeah, it's, it's difficult. He, he comes in. It's very low, low yeah. to the ground there. Um, yeah. Tries to put it. Kind of a paddle shot, just put it <laughs> close to the net and then, and then come in and, and follow up. Yeah. Um. Just wide. Oh, oh yes, what was on the attack there? We gave it away. Mm. Yes, but trying to push himself. A little bit poor mistake there, unfortunately. I think he he let the attack go there. He had a he had a very very good good depth and a short ball to Luke to come from it uh, from Luke to come for it. But um, but then he he just pushed it back with a with a slice forehand. Mm -hmm. I think he could have done more with that. Here's a chance again. Short ball from Luke. Oh, put look like he put the first volley on the line on on the on yeah. the on the right hand side line and then uh, the smash in the corner in the other side like uh, playing to the to the very outside of the courts here and uh, and we're getting to the uh, to the business end of this uh, of this match or the tennis set now aren't we? It's been match of the tournament so far, right? Oh, it has uh, to be. Um, has to, I mean, some of the I mean, I think I've noted down one, two. I've noted down five, six clips just from this one match, which is more than the rest of the stream or the rest of the commentary, I should say, combined. So, Sana's gonna have uh, have some uh, some editing to do, I'm afraid. But that's what she's uh, what she's great at. But yeah, I think you're right. There's been there's been so many good rallies. I mean, despite the scores in the middle two that are relatively low, so that it was contested rallies for most of the most of the match, wasn't it? Ooh. Drop shot. Yeah. Oh, that's a great drop. It's a fantastic great drop. Shot. So much spin. So much spin. Two points in a row for uh, for Jesper here. Yeah, it's, and it's again, it's so mental from here. Like, uh, yeah, absolutely. Like, do you so still it's dare a, it's a to? Spot. Do, do you dare to hit the uh, hit the ball and, and make the right decisions? Like, reckless tennis is just for those who haven't tried it. It's just a different different. Yeah, thing. if 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 you're a tennis player and you want to you want to play 
what is almost a different sport when it comes to tennis, come and play racquetlon. And you, you won't recognise tennis. Nope. <laughs> but um, but yeah, like I, said, I think especially especially at this elite level with, with characters like these two, it, the mental game is almost a fifth sport. You you can win or lose 21 points mentally, and most of them being in the tennis. Oh, was that so oh, long? That, that just very in. deep. Oh, well played from Luke. He needs to come in and bring him short now. Oh, oh I thought that was going to be a brilliant shot from Ratsa. Uh, I mean, Luke played a perfect point. Uh, Ratsa with a with a really good defense on the yeah. on the forehand, uh, and then had the chance to go down the line with the backhand. But you would you would favor Luke if if, if he can hit mm, five hit the backhand uh, yeah. and and approach that. I mean, surely you favor Luke to uh, to win the point. Yeah, and it does. Um, they're both they're both managing to get quite good depth at the moment, but I think Rutter with the serve down two points. Oh, is that in? It is cross drop maybe. He's gone down the line. Yes. Is he there for the volley? He is. He is. That's a big point. Uh, smart, smart coming up to the net smart, there and just yeah, and yeah. just push it down to Jesper's backhand um, yeah. because yeah, Jesper is struggling there. Acknowledging also the the play from Luke. Yeah, Luke is three points away. Oh, sorry, four, four points four, away. Four, four points, but he's plus, three points plus, ahead. Plus three, and this it's going to be a big four or five points now, isn't it? Ratsa needs to serve. I mean, I was just saying that they're both finding good depth, but I think. You Going back to the point about the mental side of the game, Chance there's not, there's nowhere near as much power on the shots as there was in the first half. But um, this was set up by uh, by good depth for from Jesper on the on yeah. the on the first one, and then forcing a short ball from Luke that he could could then punish, firing up the crowd here. Everyone's yeah. loving it. Yeah, I think I think racket on tennis is all about keeping good depth and trying to keep keep them keep them guessing really in terms of where you're going to place the ball, which side. And what spin? Oh, Lucas chance needs to bring him short again. He, he wins most of these rallies. Yeah, oh, that Just is so out. close. To it the was line. close. It's unlucky for Ratsik because I don't think Luke was going to get that. No, not, not very well anyway. But, he, but Luke's, Luke's had quite quite good success taking Jesper bring, bring in short. Jesper in, yeah. Uh, like it's, it's tough for him to do something uh, creative with it. He, he tried to there. It was very close to to the cross court drop. But yeah, just th Luke is just three points away from his third successive. Oh, what a great, oh, a great shot, great shot from Jasper! I think that's us playing well. A bit of a bit, uh, bit, bit of bit of side spin on that, I think. Just it, to take it. it, it feels bit. like Ratza has a little bit of momentum here, but but still trailing two points. He, he needs the next one, I think, because if, if yeah. Luke gets to 19 or even 20 before. I mean, I don't know if you can really really talk about. Mini mini breaks in 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 tennis yeah. in regular tennis the same way as you can in in, in regular tennis because yeah. you know we're not serving as as well no. as, as 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 they are and and it's not a as big of an advantage no. as, as it is in in normal tennis. No, two, just losing two two ser uh, points on your service it doesn't feel like a break, does it? No, no, not not the same way. But again, that's what makes a uh, racket on tennis so unique to normal tennis, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's a great shot again. Yeah. yeah. I think you're right. I think I think now Rats certainly has the momentum. Yeah, and this, he does. I mean, I mean, this is going to be. We, sh we should have put our, our Danish and uh, Great British flags up. Short, short from Luke there. Uh. That was uh, for those listening. That was Sylvan Turnon asking for the score there. Wait, he wants to know who he's going to be playing. Clearly, uh, clearly not interested in watching. I think he's probably going to take the next few hours to rest and recover. I think he's already. Fueling up after his semi, just yeah. you know, resting, making sure his body is is fit for. Oh, was that a second serve on the line? Rats are pro Rats is really up the. Oh, he's up, he's he's providing a lot more power now. Rats, he's putting Luke under a lot more pressure. Firing up the crowd again. He, he, that say, sec second <laughs> serve was it was very feisty, risky, it? like deep, deep and on the on the sideline there. Yeah, and uh, yeah, he's really taken it to Luke now. Uh, it feels like he's the one. Nervous. He's the one with the initiative. He's yeah. the one daring at the moment. I think it's actually 18 all. It now. should be 18 all. I think the the score is incorrect here. Definitely should be 18 all. Luke serving from the even even side. Oh, 
Oh, smart by Luke there. That's the approach again to the to Jesper's backhand, right? And putting him in deep, forcing him to play that top spin backhand and from a from a from a tough position. Yeah. So the score, just to let people know, is now 19-18 to Luke. Luke needs two points to win. Yeah. Maybe the mid the tablet was too much in the sun now and, and, and gave up. Maybe. But we, we can confirm the score is 1918. Oh, that was a very deep second oh. serve from Luke. Oh no, I think that was out, wasn't it? Yeah, it looked out for me. There's a spot. Luke saying there's a spot. I'm afraid you can't you can't contest that rat, sir. If no. if there is a spot. It it looked out for it looked, it looked out, from, out here. from it. Yeah, I don't think he's he's, he's unhappy, isn't he? Yeah. No, he he's accepted. So it's now twenty. 18. But oh, that's millimeters. It can't be far, can it? If only, uh, I mean, Racketon's, uh, we, we have quite a lot of technology here at Racketon. Unfortunately, Hawkeye is not part of our, um, no, he's not, not in our we're arsenal. not quite there to, to spend millions on, uh, not yet. on the Hawkeye system. But, but, that Crescent said that the if the World Champs in 2026 is in Denmark, he might invest in some Hawkeye. <laughs> But yes, just to confirm, All right. match point Luke. Just a, d a small delay on the scoreboard now, but it is 2018 to Luke, so match point. He has three, three? No, two match points. Two match sorry. points. Two match points. He's playing to win by two points. Yeah. So two match points for Luke. Will this be the one? Or will oh, he's done it. Luke Griffiths versus Sylvan Turnon in the men's elite semi-final. You have to say it was one in the badminton. Yeah, because Rats have fought really. I mean, it was a good TT from Rats, uh, probably just a bit better from uh, from Luke. And it's nice to see them hugging it out there. I think it was a very, very fair match. It was a great match to watch. Both players, it was fantastic. Both match. players have represented themselves and their countries extremely well there. And um, I mean, yeah, what what are your thoughts there, 